Hi guys, I'm Thirindu for Silverine. So, welcome to my YouTube channel. And today I'm going to show you how to create eye catching set web button on your iPhone. Please subscribe and click the bell button to get my new video updates notifications. First dart you need to download an app for this. So you can download this app from App Store or Tuchua. The app will cost $2.99. But after using Tutu app you can download this app free. Using the link on the video description you can find more information. Anyway, open the app that you downloaded by tapping it. Then you will see it like this. Now we can start our tutorial. Step 1. Create a new document for this tutorial we'll create a new 680x 890 pixel document. Tap the plus button at the top left corner of the title bar. Tap the create document button and then choose the grid document style. Focus on the right side of the title bar. Tap that ruler icon and then open the canvas slide panel. Set the width to 680px and the height to 890px. Select pixels for the base units. And verify that the pixel align strokes feature is disabled. When this setting is enabled, stroked objects are offset. Step 2. Customize the grid. Return to that ruler button and, this time open the grid pane. Make sure that the snap to grid feature is enabled data and, keep in mind that this is where you should come whenever you wish to. Enable or disable the grid or the snap to grid. Finally, open the grid spacing pane. Enter 10px in both spacing boxes and 0px in the subdivisions box. Step 3. Draw the button shape focus on the toolbar. And, you will notice that by default the fill color is set to white. While, the line color is set to black. Tap the fill color. Well and set its color to res equals 0. Green equals 144. Blue equals 255 and then tap the line color well and drag the alpha slider to 0%. Which will make your line invisible. Pick the rounded rectangle tool. Focus on the newly opened tool options pane data and, drag the radius slider to 6. Move to your canvas and simply create a 210x40px shape the grid and the snap to grid feature will ease your work. Step 4. Set the fill and stroke styles. Make sure that your rounded rectangle stays selected. Focus on the right side of your title bar and tap the leftmost icon to open the appearance panel. Go to the effects pane and, simply tap the existing stroke. Make sure that the width slider is set to one point. Select the outside alignment button, and then tap the color well that stands for your stroke. Drag the alpha slider to 50% and make sure that the color is set to black. Step 6. Set the gradient fill. Make sure that your rounded rectangle is still selected. Keep focusing on the effect pane and tap the color well that stands for the bottom fill. Tap the gradient fill button. Set the angle to minus 90 degrees. And then move to the gradient color stops. Select the left one. Set the color to black and drag the alpha slider to 20%. And the select the right one. Set the color to white and drag the alpha slider to 20%.
step 11. Command, and then reopen that context menu and tap the paste command. Now change settings like this. Now you can follow me or create another new button. So guys, thank for watching, and, if you like this video please like comment and please subscribe my channel.